hello buddies welcome back to the channel in today's video is about a quiz app i build with html css and javascript if you find this to be useful and interesting subscribe to the channel like the video and you can also share as well with that said let me show you a quick demo of it So within the HTML code and also within the body tag, I created a div with the class of quiz container and give it an ID of quiz. So within the quiz container, I have an h1 tag and also an h3 tag where our question will be. I then proceed to create an ordered list. Within that, I have a list item that contains an input and a label. I give the input a type of radio and also an ID of A and a class of an answer. With the label, I gave it an ID of option 1 and also a 4 attribute of A. I did it 3 more times for different options, changing the ID and also the attribute and the class attribute remain unchanged. So beneath the unordered list, I also created a div with the class of BTN and I have two buttons there, one as the previous and then one as the next button and also gave it an ID as well. And that's pretty much the only code within the HTML. Let's proceed with the style. So with the styling, I target everything and remove any margin and padding from it. So I set it to zero and also give it a box sizing of border box. So within the body, I display flex and also a height of 100 VH and also give it some background and align items at the center and also justify the content to be at the center. I target the quiz container class and give it a background of this and also give some padding from left and right and also top and bottom. I also give some border radius to the quiz container and also some border shadow. So with the unordered list, I move to the list item, give it a list style of none, give it a color of white and some margin of 0.5 frame. I target the label element and give it a case of pointer and also a font size of 1.2 rem. I then take the h3 and h1 tag and give it a color of white and also with the h3 I give it a font size of 1.5 frame. I target the h1 again give it some margin of 0.5 frame, a font size of 2.5 and align the text to be at the center. I target the div with the class of btn that's concerning the button. I display flex and also justify the content to be spaced between so you can see the space between around the button. I target the button as well and give it some margin top of 2 rem width of 100 pixels padding of 0.3 rem that's left and right and 1 rem from top and down give it a border radius of 0.2 rem a border of none case of pointer and as well I give it a size font size and the background and that's pretty much the code within the stars let's move on to the main.js that's the javascript aspect and that's where all our logics are so let's proceed so within the javascript i created an array of data that will contain the questions the options and the correct answer and it's going to be an array of objects i proceed to create the variables by targeting the id of each label and also select the eight thread tag with the query selector and store it within the question variable i also target the id of the buttons and store it within the variable I did same for the quiz container class. I created a variable called initialize quiz and assign 0 to 8. And also this same for the score variable and assign 0 to 8. I proceed to create a load quiz function. So within that, I first of all try to create the function that will uncheck the answer. I created the next option variable and assign an initialize a data of an initialized quiz to it. I take the question variable and set the inner test to be the next option dot question. I did same for the various option by targeting the inner test to be the next option dot appropriate properties. I also target the next button and also the previous button and add event listener on it. So in this case, we want to listen to a click. So whenever the user clicks on it, we want to run a function known as the next question. And we did same for the previous button. 
So within the next question function, I created a variable known as answer and assign another function known as get value. And that function is going to get the user value for us. So within the get value function, I also created a variable value and initially assign undefined to it. I then look through the answers and for each answer, I assign the ID of the answer to the value and later on return the value. And that's what the get value function does. We then check to see if there is an answer before we proceed doing anything. And if the answer is equal to the correct answer, we increase the score by one and move the next quiz by increasing the initialized quiz also by one. We then load the quiz only if the initialized quiz is less than the data length. We also check if the score of the user is equal to the data length, meaning he scored all. We then take the quiz variable and set the inner HTML to this, else we just show up the scores. So with the previous function, it only gets called when the button is clicked to move the previous questions. And that's pretty much it. If you find this to be useful and interesting, subscribe to the channel to get related videos. Like the video as well. See you in our next tutorial. Until then, stay tuned.